Hello and welcome to BNC Sports. I'm James Hill. Black sports legends, Harold Double O Soul Jackson is a five-time NFL Pro Bowl wide receiver. He's also a black college football Hall of Famer. Jackson is a former Jackson State University coach and NFL coach. Harold Jackson tells me he enjoyed interacting with the late great Hank Aaron. He joins us live from Los Angeles, California. Coach, can you describe meeting Hank Aaron? Coach, can you describe meeting the late great Hank Aaron? Yes, uh, James, hey, this is a pleasure talking to you once again. Uh, you know, there's a few times I got a chance to meet Hank Aaron. But I tell you what, when I met him uh, down at the HBC Hall of Fame, I had the chance to take a picture of it with him. And I tell you what, I wouldn't let nobody touch that picture. I had it blown up and everything in my house. I got it blown up. So it's going to be there until I leave here. And I tell you what, it was great seeing him. It was uh, great having the opportunity uh, talking to Hank Aaron. You know, he he's a guy that... Uh, you know, been a, uh, done a lot of things for people. You know, he done a lot for the charity, and that's the thing that I look at that he has done so far. Coach, what's it like to be a sports icon? Obviously, you're a football star and coach, but when you look over at Mr. Aaron and you see a baseball legend, what do you see there? Well, I see somebody that, you know, hey, I want to be like. And that's, uh, you know, he's the epitome of uh, a guy that, you know, played professional uh, baseball, and he made the avenues for everybody, like the young guy that wanted to play. And he was a great one. And he, I tell you what, he had, he had the opportunity to do the things that he'd done. And, you know, he had a hard road to uh, travel, but I tell you what, he made a good, uh, 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 good time out of it. Now, when he was in his heyday, you were actually a Pro Bowl receiver in the NFL. When you heard news of him uh, surpassing Babe Ruth, take us back to that moment. Well, I tell you what, we was uh, all, I think that was around 1974, I believe, and I was playing for the Los Angeles Rams. We was all sitting and watching it, and I think we all jumped up and started shouting, and, you know, we were just overjoyed for something like that to happen, especially uh, Hank Aaron. Now, you went on to coach at Jackson State University, Neon Deion Sanders. Coach Prime is there now. Talk about Jackson State and your days there. Well, I tell you what, uh, Jackson State probably was the only school that I was able to get a scholarship. You know, when I came out of high school, didn't weigh about 149 pounds. So everybody figured, hey, 149 pounds, can't play football. And so when I went to Jackson State, they had ran out of scholarships. And the head coach that was there at baseball, he, was, he coached me in high school one year, and he went to Jackson State as a baseball coach. So he said, well, hey, I got a scholarship for him. So he ended up giving me a scholarship. And, and about three years ago, I thought I was on a baseball scholarship. Me said football scholarship, and I found out I was on a baseball scholarship all those years and just found out about three or four years ago. But I tell you what, I really enjoyed my plan at Jackson State. Jackson State produced a lot of good football players. You know, we got four Hall of Famers. You've got Jackie Slater, Lim Burney, Walter Payton, and Robert Bazaar. And there should be some other guys that going, you know, coming out of Jackson State should be in the Hall of Fame. So we'll wait and see what happens. Coach, did you ever get an opportunity to watch Hank Aaron play live baseball? I got a chance to see him a lot on TV, not live, but I got a chance to see him on TV. And, I, and you know, every time, uh, you know what, he was at Milwaukee for what about, uh, I think he was at Milwaukee for about, uh, what, uh, how many years at Milwaukee? About 15 at Milwaukee, about nine in Atlanta. So I got a chance to see him a lot when he came to Atlanta because where I came from in Mississippi, we got a chance to see the Atlanta Braves quite a bit. And we had the opportunity to see Hank Aaron play quite a bit of baseball. Now, when you two gentlemen took that picture in Atlanta, what kind of conversation did you two gentlemen have? Well, you know what? He also told me, said he admired my plan. You know, the years that I played, I, you know, it's be surprised the people that sit back and watch you play. And then when you find out, they had the opportunity to sit back and watch you play and perform on the football field. And they, you know, just told, tell them how great you are. It makes you feel good coming from somebody like that. All right. Thank you, sir. That is Harold Jackson joining us live from Los Angeles, California. Take care, coach. Finally, it is time for our BNC King of the Hill. He's a 25 
time MLB All-Star, a gentleman with class and grace. Henry Hank Aaron is also a member of the 1957 World Champion Baseball Milwaukee Brewers. Hank Aaron is our BNC King of the Hill. Henry Hank Aaron was born February 5th, 1934 in Mobile, Alabama. He passed January 22nd, 2021 in Atlanta, Georgia in 1952. Hank Aaron played in the Negro League with the Indianapolis Clowns. On April 13th, 1954, he makes his MLB debut with the Milwaukee Braves playing right field on April 8th, 1974. Hank Aaron slaps his 715th home run off LA Dodgers pitcher Al Downing at Fulton County Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. He's a four time National League RBI leader, a three time Gold Glove Award winner, and the 1957 NL Most Valuable Player, Henry Hank. The Hammer, Aaron is our BNC King of the Hill.